Echoes of Dread, The Haunting of the Grand Astoria Hotel. In the eerie silence of a moonless night, I stumbled upon the dilapidated ruins of the Grand Astoria Hotel. Its once magnificent facade was now crumbling, its windows shattered and boarded up. Curiosity gnawed at me, and with a trembling hand, I pushed open the creaking iron gates. As I stepped inside, a cold, musty odor filled the air. Cobwebs hung from every corner, and the floorboards groaned beneath my feet. I could sense a palpable presence lurking within the shadows, watching my every move. I cautiously made my way deeper into the hotel, my flashlight casting a feeble glow on the decaying grandeur. The lobby was once a masterpiece of opulence, but now it was a desolate wasteland. Dust-covered furniture lay scattered, and a faded portrait of a beautiful woman stared vacantly at me from the wall. As I explored the upper floors, the atmosphere grew heavier. The air crackled with an otherworldly energy, and I could hear faint whispers echoing through the empty hallways. I felt a chill run down my spine, and my heart pounded in my chest. In one of the guest rooms, I stumbled upon a diary hidden beneath a threadbare mattress. Its pages were filled with the haunting entries of a former guest. She wrote of strange noises, flickering lights, and a feeling of constant dread. She claimed that the hotel was haunted by the ghost of a scorned lover who had been murdered within its walls. As I continued to read, a sudden gust of wind slammed the door shut, plunging me into darkness. Panic surged through me as I frantically fumbled for my flashlight. When the beam finally flickered back to life, I gasped in horror. Standing before me was a ghastly figure, its eyes glowing an eerie red. The diary had come to life, and the ghost of the murdered lover had manifested before me. Its ethereal form shimmered and contorted, filling the room with a suffocating terror. I stumbled backward, desperate to escape its grasp. But there was nowhere to run. The ghost lunged at me, its icy fingers wrapping around my throat. I fought back with all my might, but its grip was relentless. Just when I thought my life was about to end, a blinding light filled the room. A figure appeared in the doorway, its body radiating an otherworldly aura. It was the ghost of the hotel's former owner, a benevolent spirit who had been trapped within its walls. The benevolent ghost confronted the malevolent spirit, its voice a thunderous roar. The malevolent spirit recoiled in fear, its form fading into nothingness. As the last vestiges of the ghost disappeared, the room returned to its eerie silence. The benevolent ghost turned to me, its eyes filled with compassion. It whispered words of comfort and urged me to leave the cursed hotel. With trembling legs I stumbled out of the room and into the cold night air. As I made my way back to the gates I could still feel the presence of the benevolent ghost watching over me. It had saved my life, and I knew that I would never forget the horrors I had witnessed within the walls of the Grand Astoria Hotel. From that night forward, the haunted hotel became a legend whispered among the locals. Some dismissed it as a mere tale, but those who had experienced its horrors knew that the curse of the Grand Astoria was real. And so, the dilapidated ruin stood as a testament to the darkness that lurked within the shadows, forever haunting the dreams of those who dared to venture inside. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.